The next question is Ravi has test after four days. Okay, and today is say Friday. Okay, so when will be his test? Did you understand the question, children? So Ravi is having a test after four days, and today is Friday. So you have to count four days from today. Okay, so four days from today will be today. As I said, it is Friday. So Saturday, Sunday. Monday and Tuesday. So when will Ravi have his test? Yes, he have his test on Tuesday. Okay, good. Now, the next question is: Today is say eleventh July. Okay. And Kevin had his birthday six days ago. So when was his birthday? Okay, did you understand the question? So today is eleventh July. Okay, so assume that today is eleventh July, and Kevin had his birthday six days ago. Okay, so you have to find out when was his actual birthday. So what we will do? We will just draw a small calendar. Okay, you need not have to draw all the days because we have to find six days back, right? So just draw seven columns. Okay, and mention here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, and what are the informations given? Today is eleventh, and today is Friday. Today is eleventh, right? So assume that today is eleventh is here, Friday. So now we will do a backward counting. Okay, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so today is eleven. I am circling here eleven. So Kevin had his birthday six days back. So I am going to count six days back, which is one, two, three. Four, five, and six. So when was the sixth day? It was on fifth of July. So Kevin's birthday was on fifth July, which was on Saturday. So did you understand, children? Yes. Shall we do the same sum once again? The same pattern of question. Okay. So your question is okay. Today is fifteenth August. Okay, and Ganesh had his birthday. Nine days ago. When was his birthday? Okay, so today is fifteenth August, and Ganesh had his birthday nine days ago. So what we will do is. We will just erase these numbers, and again we will try to 
write down the new series of number. Okay. Yes. So since it is only asking me the date and not the day, so it is not important for me to know which day it is today. Okay. So as it is telling only about the date, we will just focus assuming that the first of the month is starting on Sunday. So that it is easy for us to write down the numbers. Okay. Starting from Sunday 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and the next one is 15. Okay. Is it clear children? Okay. So now they have told that today is 15th August which is this one. And Ganesh had his birthday 9 days ago. So what are we going to do? We are going backward counting the 9th day. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, when is the ninth day? It was on 6th of August. So, my answer is 6th August which was on Friday. So, that was his birthday. Are you clear children? With this pattern of questions, shall we proceed further? Okay, so now I have few more tricky questions coming on your way. So you have to identify which among them is true. Okay, you have to identify which among them is true. Okay, and your first option says one week is equals to six days. Option B, three weeks is equals to 21 days. Option C, four weeks is equals to 30 days and 2 weeks is equals to 15 days. Okay. So, this is my option. So, shall we work out? So, what is the first step? We know that 1 week is equal to 7 days. And what is the first option given? They have given one week is six days. So, the first option is false. Second says three weeks is equals to 21 days. Okay. We will work out. So, one week is seven days. So, we have to multiply three into seven which is equals to 21 days. And what is the option given here? It is 21. So, which means that it is true. The third one says 4 weeks is equals to 30 days. Shall we work out? 4 into 7 is equals to 28 days. Wherein my option says 30 days. So, what it is? Yes, it is a false statement. The next option says 2 weeks is equals to 15 days. So, we will work out again 2 into 7 is equals to 14 days. So, again this is not the right option. So, this is false. So, my correct option is option B. 3 weeks is equals to 21 days. Okay. Shall we move to the next question? So, here is my next question. Now, see the pages below and find the following. Okay? So, 
you have to see the ages below and you have to answer the following question. So, S was born on 31-4-1972. R was born on 6-6-1971. N was born on 4 July 1973 and P was born on 5-8-1971. Okay, you have to identify who is the oldest and the second one is who is the youngest. Okay, so did you understand the question? So there are four persons S, R, N and P and their date of birth is given here. So seeing this you have to find out who is the oldest and who is the youngest. So coming to the first one, S was born on 31-4-1972. So first we will see the years. Okay, so 1 is 72, then 71, then 73 and 71. So in 71 we have 2 which is R and P. So naturally we do not have to see the 72 and 73 because when we are finding the oldest one we have to see the biggest year. Okay, so now among R and P, R was born on 6th of June wherein P was born on 5th of June. August. So, which do you think is the oldest one? Good. It is R. Right? So, my oldest one is R which was born on 6-6-1971. Okay? My next question says who is the youngest? So, again find out the years. It is 72, 71, 73 and 71. So, it is quite easy. Right? Because in 73, we have only 1, which is N. So, my answer is N that was born on 4-7-1973. Clear children? Is it easy? Okay. So, here comes your next question. My next question says that Anuj started his practice on 3-7-19. Okay. Or we will make it as 18 because 19 is not yet over. Right. So, Anu started his practice on 3-7-18. He practiced for 3 days, okay, he took a break of 5 days, then he continued his practice for 14 days when was his last day of practice so did you understand the question children it says that anuj started his practice on 37 18. On 3rd of July, he started his practice. He practiced for 3 days. So, which means that he practiced for continuous 3 days, which is from 3rd, it is 4th, 5th and 6th. So, he practiced till 6th of July. Okay. After that, he took a break of 5 days. So, from 6th onwards, 
he went for a break of 5 days which is 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So till 11 he was on a break. Okay. Then he continued his practice for 14 days which means that till 11th he was on a break and after that for 2 continuous weeks he was on a practice. So when was his last day of practice? So you need to find out when he finished his practice. Are you clear children? So we have got the data that third he started his practice. He practiced till 6th. Then till 11th he was on a break. And from 11th till 14 days he was practicing continuously. So what, ha what we have to do? Shall we draw a small calendar for ourselves? Okay. So, okay. So, here I will be drawing a small calendar for myself. Okay. And I will be dividing it in 7 parts. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Okay. Now, I will just mention on top Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Okay. My question says Anud started his practice on 3rd. So let us assume that 3rd is on the 1st day. Okay. So from here we will mention the date. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and as it is told it is a month of July. So I have 31 days. Okay. So he is starting his practice on 3rd. He practiced for 3 days which is 4th, 5th and 6th. So he practiced till 6th. After that it says that he took a break of 5 days. So counting from 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So he was not there for 5 days. He took a break. Okay. Then he continued his practice for 14 days. So from 12 we will be counting the 14 days which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So my 14th day is on 25th. And my question asks when was his last day of practice? So my answer will be 25th July 18 was his last day of practice. Okay. So are you clear with this pattern of questions children? So I think we have done many questions on time and calendar. And I hope you enjoy doing the sums along with me.